that say? You know, I first got I got my first glimpse of Adrienne Barbeau in Cannonball Run. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, she w- what what the what what was she in? Was she in uh? Her first movie. Well, there was a kind of a she, was, no, she was in a sitcom though. She was in a sitcom though, wasn't she? She was in Swamp Thing, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, Swamp, Swamp Thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then they had that redheaded girl and a woman in Swamp Thing too, and that oh, too, I believe her name was. She was uh, she was another one that you would uh, not get uh, confused with a. Uh, uh, <laughs> About Carol Wayne. <laughs> on uh, Johnny Carson. Yeah, she was. Uh, I'll, I'll take a I'll take a Nat or uh, Adrienne over uh, Carol Wayne, but you know that's uh, you know, to to each his own, right? And. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 no one, and, and you know, when we were actually been was on Maud. That's what I thought, Maud. Yeah, she was the daughter on Maud. Couldn't stand that show, but, but Adrienne made it kind of worthwhile if you turned down the sound. Yeah, Maud. And uh, Wrangler Jane is getting more votes for not getting confused with males. I mean, Wrangler Jane was just real. I think Wrangler Jane is not around anymore. She she died at a young age, I do believe, but uh, she was she was just really hot. There were there's so I many hot women. Oh, eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. We used to have a segment on this show called Who Would You Like to See Naked on TV, but it it seems kind of uh, un PC for these days. Plus, you know what? Who's watching TV or a network <laughs> TV anyway? So the you know, it's on here. Game, uh, it's uh, something. It's Woo-hoo! on some uh, ca- some obscure channel or uh, like CBS or ABC, or it's on some uh, less obscure channel like uh, Hulu or uh, Netflix. And, but most people still don't know what, what it is. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. We're going to talk about the s- suspension of the gas tax in Massachusetts coming up, and I still got to read these stories about these horrible crimes in uh, New Orleans and Philadelphia. I'm Howie Gard. <coughs> Campers, are you thinking about a new RV? This year, more than ever, you will need to shop early. It is no surprise that the popularity of camping is growing. My friends at Cold Springs RV are ready for you. Now well, we got to hang it out. we got to hang out. Cold Springs RV and see the latest in travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, pop-ups, and more. They have the best selection and even an indoor heated showroom. Go through the last of wood. Visit Cold Springs RV in Ware, New Hampshire. Online at coldspringsrv.com. Inflation is everywhere, in the news, at the pump, and at the grocery store. All the more reason to consider Rizzo Insurance. Rizzo Insurance has helped thousands of people save hundreds, and in some cases, thousands of dollars on their auto, home, flood, and business insurance. And one of those customers is me. Rizzo found me the coverage I needed at the most affordable rates available. Saving money is always important, but even more so now. Learn how Rizzo can help you, too. Contact Dan or Paul at RizzoInsurance.com. That's RizzoInsurance.com. The Seacoast's home for news, talk, and information. This is 98.1 WTSN, the Pulse of New Hampshire. Oh, hey, Mary, I've got a riddle for you. Oh, wow, you always have the funniest riddles. Check it out. How do leprechauns celebrate the green all the other days of the year? Celebrate the green? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Celebrate the green all the days of the year with a visit to Mellow. Come and find your Mellow at April's newest recreational dispensary. Their staff is the best. Warm, friendly, inviting, casual, and just plain chill. Yet professional and very well educated. Your needs can be met. Flower, edibles, concentrates, pre-rolls. And keep in mind, you will not see better prices. Come find your Mellow. Take 495 to exit 111. And you're there. Right at the bottom. Bottom of the exit, easy access, friendly service, wide selection, and the best pricing. What more could you want? Sneak peek at mellowhaverill.com. That's M-E-L-L-O Haverill.com. Free by those coming over to Major Open Channel number 281811. Oh, and go for the leprechauns. Attorney Joe Cordell. New school, new job, new home. Change is hard and can leave you feeling isolated. And change delivers one of life's hardest blows. The relationships you counted on are suddenly gone. But you don't have to walk through this alone. For more than 30 years, Cordell and Cordell...
last boil. Head tank's got about 40 gallons. We'll need all of that to push out what's in the pan. One inch deep equals 12 gallons. Right now the pan is about three and a half almost four inches deep. We generally don't run it that deep. We're batching right now. We have to batch it. Because uh, we want to use sap to cool the pan down. We don't want to use water to cool the pan down. Or we'll lose what's in the pan. So we need sap. And we're fortunate to have 40 gallons to do the cool down. We're boiling as hot as we can right now with the last of the wood, which is a good thing. We've been pushing this thing like this for 10 days straight. I just did a beat run down to town and back. The pan's deep enough, I got away with that. And the three other sugar shacks, they're on buckets. They're not doing nothing. They don't got they don't got a thousand taps like we we do. We had so much sap when the when the when the trees ran down and stopped running what the heck's today uh, Wednesday the trees shut off about midnight Saturday night Sunday morning for the bucket guys it definitely the vacuum I've had I kept the vacuum on So about five o'clock Sunday night. That sap coming out of my yin yang here. High sugar content was still up around two percent. In New Hampshire, two percent that's what you get with wilderness trees. If somebody had an orchard that they planted in the sixties and they Fused their saplings with high sugar trees from Canada. They could probably be somewhere anywhere from three something percent. I've seen super trees on the, online where up in Canada they got eight percent trees and they're in orchards and they were genetically planted to do that in the 60s and the trees takes 40 years for a tree to get 10 to 12 inches round and if they're orchard grown they they still around 10 to 12 inches and they're on 100 acre parcels and they're all in line where the tubes are just perfectly set up. That's not how it is around in New Hampshire and Vermont. Vermont, everything's on the mountain coming down. New York, same thing. Indiana, Michigan, flat. Got to have some good vacuum. I got a 30 degree, a 30 foot drop on my slope. So I use it to advantage. So this is 
is how we roll. Been having trouble with my camera lately. I dropped it a few times. I managed to get the fire. The boil. Every square inch of that pan available. The pan is four by five. There's no wind today, so we got a good bellowing. I got a small blower that's piped into the grates and then I got the big blower that's underneath the grate. Hot foot had to go to town take care of stuff with her sisters and stuff. So I'm by myself. No hot foot. We got a storm coming. We're talking a couple inches of rain tomorrow. Got aircraft flying over. That's a military aircraft. It's hard to see it with this camera. I don't know what the heck it is. I just came out of Pease Air Force Base in Portsmouth. They've been so active in the last couple of weeks. That's an old plane with propellers. Yep. Guarantee not to do a nose dive into a Chinese mountain. <laughs> so that's how we are. End of the season. Last boil. Talk to you later.